Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is an introduction to methods. I'm going to go and open up my website here, javacjava.com. Click on the begin button to get to the tutorials page. I'm going to scroll down here to the Introduction to Methods tutorial. Methods provide a way for an object to perform some sort of action. A method is a member of a class and must be located inside the opening and closing braces of a class body. And we can pass variable data to the method by specifying an optional common delimited list of parameters contained inside of a pair of parentheses directly following the name of the method. The method can return data by specifying the return type directly in front of the method name. The basic structure for a method is this. You have your return type, your method name, and then your parameter list located inside a pair of parentheses. Okay. Now, together, the method name and the method parameter list, which are these two right here, make up the components of the method signature. The method signature, you're going to hear this term a lot in the um, in the future tutorials there. Now everything inside of the opening brace and closing brace is known as the method body. This is the method body right here. The method declaration is all elements prior to the method body, which is this, plus the method body itself, which is this. So in other words, just about everything is referred to as the method declaration. So let's consider the following. Here we have a return data type of int, the primitive int data type the name of our method, calculate volume, and then inside of parentheses we have a list of parameters that we're going to be passing in. And each parameter has its own data type that we specify and we separate these parameters by commas there, right? So an int uh, box length will be an int data type, box height will be an int data type, and box width will be an int data type. And then we have our method body, right? So here we're uh, declaring a variable name return value of int data type. This is what's called a local variable. These three are local variables too as well, uh, but we'll just refer to them as parameters as well. It's kind of, they can be referred to as both. So we're setting return value equal to box length times box height times box width, right? Multiplying all three parameters together. And then return value is an int data type. We are returning the return Java keyword and then return value. Now the return value must match the data type of the return type up here. Okay? And they do. So we're good there. As a be best practice, a method should only perform a single task. In this example, the calculate volume method will receive three int data type parameters and return an int data type value. The int box length, int box height, and int box width are parameters. Parameters are simply a list of comma separated values that will represent data being passed to the method when it is invoked. Invoked is another word for run or being called or whatever, you know, so you, but invoked is they use that a lot in Java. There are other languages call it other things, so but the return Java keyword terminates the method and returns execution of the calling statement along with the data value specified. The return value must match the return type declared in the method declaration. Okay, now in this tutorial we will build on the previous instance variable tutorial by modifying our box class. Let's go ahead and come down here to our box class, highlight this, control C to copy or right click and select copy. Let's move our browser off screen. Um, I've made a command, I have a shortcut to the command prompt here on my desktop but you can create one by going new, shortcut, cmd, right, next, finish. But um, let's go ahead and open that up here. Type in Java C. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't, if you see an error message, then you need to watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. Make sure you get that installed and configured properly. Let's type in CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, backslash tells it to go to the root. We're going to make a directory called Java, I already have it, but if you don't, I'll create it for you. Change directories to Java, now I'm going to uh, make a directory called uh, method intro, 
I'll change directories to the method intro folder and we'll notepad uh, box.java first, right? And we'll paste that in there. Go ahead and save this. So basically I have the uh, exact same method um, that we just talked about on the website here. And that is enclosed inside of the class box uh, body here, right? Inside the class body here. So let's go ahead and save this and compile that. And let's do a directory here. So you can see when we compile that, we have our box.java and our box.class there. Box.class is the Java bytecodes file, and box.java is, of course, our source code file. Let's clear our screen. Let's type in notepad method intro.java. And let's bring the website back on here. And let's copy all of this stuff here. Highlight and copy, control C to copy, or right click and select copy. Paste it over here. And let's save this. Okay, so our method intro class, there's our class um, name here, class declaration. And basically, we have our main method entry point. And the first thing we're going to do is create a reference variable of box type. We're going to call it small. And then we're going to assign small using assignment operator and the new keyword um, box will basically allocate a box object and assign a reference to that box object to small. Then we'll do it all in one line here. So box medium, medium being a reference variable, and we'll assign that a new box object, right? and large is our reference variable here and another new box object. So each, the, each one of these reference variables, small, medium, large, will all point to their own separate unique objects. Okay, then we're gonna have an int data type small volume. And by the way, I split this up so you could really kind of see it um, go into action here. And then, so I'm declaring small volume there. And now I'm assigning small volume the value of our, our small object and then we invoke the dot uh, the dot operator invokes the calculate volume method well, the calculate volume method I'm passing it 5 5 and 5 right which is the length height and width okay it will then come down here and say make this local variable here and make return value this return value local variable to assign it length times width times height for our volume calculation and then it'll return that value back here right so let's pop back over to this one here so that return value which will occur right here which basically would be 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125 it'll assign 125 to small volume and then we'll go ahead and display to the console this string literal right here plus the value of small volume which will be 125 now we'll do the same thing for the medium volume and pass um, the medium reference variable object there. Uh, we'll invoke the dot calculate volume method and pass it over 10, 10, 10. And these are called arguments right here and they're received as parameters. And I'll go over that a little bit more in future tutorials. So the medium volume there will be um, 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 will be 1,000, right? So that'll be a, what it displays to the console there. And then last, I'm gonna do a large volume and same thing with the calculate volume there. So let's go ahead and make sure that's saved out. Let's compile that. Uh, let's do a quick directory, okay? So we have four files here. We have two that end in .java, which is our source code files, and then two that end in .class. Both of these are our bytecode files that contain the compiled bytecode for those classes. So let's hit the, type in CLS again here, and let's go ahead and run the, uh, the method intro. So the volume of our small box is 125. The volume of our medium box is 1,000. Volume of our large box is 8,000. Okay, so basically we got exactly what we were expecting there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. 
close out of that, close out of that. To just leave you with some final thoughts. You know, methods are arguably the single most important thing to understand about programming Java. There's so much more to methods than what this tutorial has covered. Now, future tutorials will build on what you've learned in this one. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.